Hello everybody, this is Brian Shade with Get Healthy Blog. I uh, am recording a video today for a couple of reasons. I have a confession that I need to mention and, and uh, I need to make a commitment and I think the best way to do that would be to do it on a video so that I have some kind of a record a little bit more than just me making a mental note that hey I'm gonna commit to this I also have to clean up my bike so I kinda of figured I would kill two birds with one stone seeing as how I'm running out of daylight thought maybe it'd be easier to clean the bike and make the video at the same time since the topic of the video and the bike well they have a bit of a a relationship. I really really hope that this uh, microphone is picking up my audio. I've got my water fountain running in the background and uh, that I'm hoping that that won't overpower the audio. We'll see. I've got to confess something. I have gained some weight. I have gained a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. I have gained about 20 pounds since ending the RM3 program in February of 2016. I've been doing really, really good actually about keeping on top of my weight. The last three or four months though, things have kind of gotten out of control. And uh, I have fallen way, way, way off track of what I should be eating and how much I've been eating. And even though I've been riding my bike quite consistently and I've been doing really good with, you know, the, the number of miles that I ride and such, but um, even with that, I've managed to gain weight. And the problem is that I'm eating more than I should be and not getting into a calorie deficit at the end of the day. So that's the confession. And the commitment part comes to this. I'm going to recommit to myself to, to take the weight back off, get back to where I was, but get back to where I'm, I'm something I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Now I have to admit, because I have been riding my bike quite frequently, some of my weight gain is most likely muscle development, especially in my legs. There's no doubt that some of that weight gain is muscle mass, but my pants have been fitting a little tighter in the waist, and lately I haven't been needing to wear a belt, and so I know that there's some fat gain there too. Now, I could, if I really wanted to, just go back on the RM3 program for Tucson Medical Weight Loss. But doing that for a couple of months or a month or however long I needed would put me in a position where I, I couldn't do the bike riding. And um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give up the bike riding. It's, it's way too much fun for me and uh, quite frankly, if I gave it up for a month or two months or however long it would, you know, I decided to go on the RM3 program, I would get out of shape really, really fast and I don't, I don't want to lose what I've gained. I have made some pretty good strides with my skills, especially with the mountain biking. And I'm at a, I'm at a point where I don't want to lose that. So I'm not going to go back on the RM3 program. And I figure I could easily just recommit to eating healthy and, and getting back into eating the right kinds of foods 
in the right proportions and and I should be able to take that 20 pounds back off without any trouble the other thing of course is right now we're getting into the summer and I've got some things that I'm going to be involved in and they're they're bike riding and I don't want to miss those one of them I'm doing right now for the month of June as you know I am doing the uh, great cycle challenge which by the way the link to my profile will appear below in the comment or in the uh, description and if you're watching this from the gethealthyblog.com website the uh, link will appear with the text that appears with this video Spike gets really dirty when you ride it out on the mountain trails. Okay, so I've, I've done the confessional. Now I need to make the commitment. I commit at this, on this day, June 13th, 2017, to getting back on track and getting myself healthy again. I can tell you what, I can feel a difference. My diet, the amount I've been eating, my sleep patterns, all of that has been contributing and I've, I've been feeling some crappiness coming back into my system. So I need to commit now, jump back on the bandwagon, get back into a healthier lifestyle. Part one, is controlling the amount of food that I eat. Now I, I've been getting into a, a bad habit, a bad mindset, that because I have been riding my bike so much, it's okay to eat more. I will burn anywhere between 800 to 1300 calories per bike ride but that doesn't necessarily mean that I get to eat 1200 to 1300 calories extra for that day that's just gonna put me back into a state of equilibrium and that makes it easier for me to eat more so what I need to do at the end of the day to lose weight I've got to be in a calorie deficit. Even with my, my bike rides, I need to watch how much I'm eating. That's part one. Part two is all about the quality of the food that I'm eating. I need to stop eating junk. I've gotten into a habit of thinking it's okay to eat things like hot dogs, and, and chips and french fries and hamburgers and uh, that's not really a good thing. What I do need to be concentrating more on is eating quality foods, proteins, vegetables, fruits, um, much more clean foods and a lot less of the bad stuff you know and it's that's pretty common sense you know most people know that one of the thing that one thing that I've allowed to come back into my diet way more than it should have is carbohydrates I've uh, been eating a lot of potatoes been eating a lot of breads a lot of pasta so I need to cut that out so part two is cleaning up my diet I do have a plan in place uh, which was provided to me by Tucson Medical Weight Loss. I'm going to be modeling my overall nutritional guidelines off of that food plan. So part three is making sure that I'm getting a decent amount of sleep at night and maintaining a sleep rhythm that is consistent each day. I found that 
that sleep is a very, very important part of staying healthy and, and weight loss in general. For me, a lot of it has to do with just if I stay up late, I'm going to snack. I'm going to, I'm going to start eating food that is convenient and quick. And uh, that leads to overeating, that leads to weight gain. So those are the three parts. Watching my caloric intake, making sure that I eat the right kinds of foods, and then part three is making sure that I get to bed at a reasonable time at night, wake up at a reasonable time in the morning, and get a decent amount of sleep for me, a decent amount of sleep would be considered six hours, but ideally it should be eight. So I need to maintain those three parts and I think that I will be successful in my endeavors to get rid of this extra weight gain. So the question now is, what am I going to do to maintain this commitment? The first thing I know that I need to do when I was on the RM3 program, what made it easy for me to maintain their eating plan was preparing meals ahead of time. And, and that is one of the things that I need to do in order to be successful at this. I need to go back to prepping my meals making an entire week's worth of meals, especially lunches, ahead of time, and then just packing them and taking them with me to work. So that's one of the things that I'm going to be doing. There it is. Forgot my chain lubricant. What was I saying? Right, um, so one of the things that I'll be doing to, to recommit to myself in this regard is making my meals ahead of time, especially my lunches. Dinners are gonna be a little bit tricky because I gotta make dinner not just for me but for my family as well. So um, that's gonna have to be something I'll have to work out Another thing that I'm going to be doing to recommit, as I said earlier, I will be revisiting the meal plan that was provided to me by Tucson Medical Weight Loss when I went on to the Lifetime Maintenance Program. And it's a fairly clean eating plan, a uh, meal plan, it's, uh, you know, it, it lists out um, how much in the way of meat protein, how much in the way of vegetables and fruits, and even a small amount of carbohydrates that I can eat during a day. That's what I'm going to use as a model for my, my meal plans. All right. So that's it. Bike is all clean. My confession is laid out and my commitment has been made. You're my witnesses. So on this day, June 13th, 2017, I'm recommitting to making myself healthier. I wanna say thank you to everybody who supported me over this adventure. Initially, there was, a, there was a much smaller group of people that I was grateful to for their support. Over the course of the last year as I've been riding my bike, my road bike and, and my mountain bike, that has grown significantly. I've made a whole slew of new friends thanks to this whole biking thing.
And I'm grateful to every single one of you for your help, for your support, for your encouragement, for your mentorship, and your words of wisdom. If anyone is in need of assistance, if you need encouragement, if you need some kind of uplifting commentary or something to help you make that first step towards getting healthy, please reach out to me. I'm here. I would love to talk to you about my adventures, about what I did to get healthy. Uh, the folks at Tucson Medical Weight Loss are very, very helpful, but that's not the only way to get healthy. I'm not advocating any one particular program. What I am advocating is to take those first steps to getting healthy. And I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Please visit my profile page for the Great Cycle Challenge. Please make a donation if it's within your capacity. God bless everybody. Thanks. I encourage you, please, if you are able to, please go to my profile page for the Great Cycle Challenge and make a donation. Today being June 13th, tomorrow is what we're calling the Kick Cancer's Butt Day. On that day, all of your donations are doubled. They're matched dollar for dollar up to $400,000 by the uh, Great Cycle Challenge sponsors. So if you could do so, just uh, head over to that website and uh, make, a, make a small donation. Any donation is appreciated and graciously accepted.